which that's enough tech practice for now. Calm trues, I don't know what that is. Sorry. Chilling hard in the village up in the gate bar talking to Africans. I'm not a gangster and I'm not a dog, no I'm blood or crick, struggling the brother trying um, to right, guys. I've been nice in the sit pop shit from way back then, days of the Jeffersons. We'll get into it here. Lethon vs H Fox uh run back from the salty suite. Let's get it on, let it as long as an ox and I mute that video so I can talk about it. Um, I feel like both players were a little stiff at the beginning, actually. Like, that standing laser, uh, Hbox was kind of throwing out aerials without purpose, which he tends to do sometimes, because he's a good club, but... Um, Leffen doing a great job playing keep away right now. Um, a lot of short hop, double laser, a lot of, uh... Full hop nair, another great tool versus jigs, even though Mango calls it the Mitu King nair. Mitu King does it in bad situations though. Leffen likes to go for a lot of raw up smash. I like it actually because it usually works out in his favor. Hbox gets the jab, reset, rest. Very nice. Uh, Leffen does a back air there instead of up air. I agree with that. I probably would have done the same thing. He was trying to get a follow up rather than the up air, which Hbox likely would have DI'd out of anyway. I usually go for. Ooh. Leffen went for the up throw up air. I don't think it would have killed, even if I connected. But it did not. Hbox did smash the eye at. Leffen suicides there. Um, I feel like Leffen outplayed Hbox for a lot of this match, but had a couple miscues. Misses that. You see Leffen putting a lot of just jab out, like dashing around and putting out jab. He's just trying to hit confirm into an up smash. As soon as he sees that jab hit, he'll dash up smash. Um, so that's why he's putting out that jab so much. And he's doing a great job of utilizing the platforms to, again, mostly keep away. That's Leffen's entire game here. He only needs a little bit of damage on Puff before she's in kill percent. So that's the ideal way to play this matchup. Goes for the grab there. Hbox has been excellent at smash the eyeing the up air so far though. So if I were Leffen, I would be relying more on jab up smashes and things like that if I could. Obviously, up throw up air is the go-to kill move against Jigglypuff though. But Hbox has been known to be really good at smash the eyeing it, except against Mango. You can get that one though. Uh, he only hit with the second part, so that that was not something he could smash the eye. That was pretty impressive by Leffen. I could be Leffen, maybe, because it's Fox Dittos. I don't know if I'm necessarily a better player, but I could definitely beat him in Fox Dittos, because anyone can technically beat anyone in Fox Dittos. I imagine he's pretty good at Fox Hittos, though. So, Leffen's keep away starts to break down a little bit at the beginning of this stock. Let's go uh, back a little bit here. He's been playing, like, impeccable keep away almost the whole match, but he's, you see he kind of starts to break down a little bit, get a little bit impatient, and allow Hbox to get a few hits in. Still uh, outplaying him overall, though. And right there, Leffen hesitated. I'm not sure why before he did a double jump up air right there he could have just won the match um i don't know if it would have killed necessarily it might not have killed it would have been close probably would not have killed because of di but either way that would have been a uh, put puff at a kill percent for sure although she's already kind of there so that's another one that he could have got that uh, i think he could have connected with just based on where he is um i think he could have connected with the second hit only and that would have been a guaranteed kill Misses though. Obviously, nerves are at play here. You can see there's a big crowd. Well, you can't really see, but if you were at Apex, you know there was. Oh, and Leffen just goes for the raw charge up smash. He had released it a second earlier. It might have worked. Um, I don't know about the charge. And then he kills himself with the the ledge dash attempt, which is always a risk with Fox. I do that all the time, trying to ledge dash. I mean, it is what it is. It's like a vital technique at this point, so you just got to try to get better at it to where you don't kill yourself. If Leffen had done just maybe a straight dash up smash there, I think he would have connected and won the match.
So left hand goes FD, a great counter pick against Jigglypuff for Fox. I don't know if the stream went down or something. Viewer count dropped by a lot. Um. See another nice raw up smash from Leffen. Back that up. Did the stream go down, guys? I assume it did. Sorry about that. Don't know why that happened. Weird. Okay. Does HPOX ever use up throw rest? He does occasionally when he can get it off. Um, he, I think, prefers not to. But if he, if he has the opportunity, he's certainly going to take it. Misses the up throw up air, Hbox the eyes out of it, but then he just gets another up air. See, Leffen really likes to just throw out the kill moves against Puff, which can get you punished pretty hard, but if you get the right read, then that's a dead Puff, like at really low percents, relatively low percents. So let's go back to that real quick. He the eyes this uh, up throw up air really well. And you see Leffen running around with the jabs again. Let's just back that up one more time so you guys can see. He really likes to just run, put out the jab. If he sees that jab connect, there's an up smash coming, but, you know, he's really good at hit confirming whether it actually connects. He doesn't just put the up smash there. See? And he puts out another up air in between that doesn't hit. He's just fishing for up airs. There's not really much Puff can do to punish that. So when you're Fox below a Puff, you can kind of really throw out those up airs. Hbox uh, trying to go for a combo off the up throw. Good job by left and DIing all the way out. Ooh. Love the turnaround up tilt combo. Let's see that one more time. Nair, turnaround up tilt to another Nair. Just solid damage. Uh, and you always want to get away from Puff when you know you're not getting a guaranteed follow up. So Leffen doing a great job. Just playing this textbook. And he's fishing for the jab, but Leffen is really good at hit confirming because a lot of foxes would see that jab right there connect and they would just hit confirm into the up smash even though Puff crouch canceled it, but Leffen recognizes that he crouch cancels and just runs away. He doesn't put the up smash there. Because if he did put the up smash there, Hbox likely would have just shielded it because he crouch canceled the jab. So really good job by Leffen uh, recognizing that. And now he's got Puff at the higher damage where it can be harder to kill her, but lands a, a strong back air. There's actually a sweet spot of percent where you kind of want to have Puff at as a Fox player. It's around 60 to like 90, I'd say, because after that you can't really up throw up air her anymore. And you're kind of just fishing for random kill moves to try to get her off. And obviously it's difficult to edge guard Puff. <clears throat> Gets a uh, bad DI on a forward throw. Surprise forward throw. Good job converting off that straight up tilt. Man, up tilt is so good. Love that move. And Leffen, I feel like, did something like a weird pullback on that up air. He could have got him. Great job with that hit confirm into jab hit confirm into up smash. Boom. And like I said, Leffen has pretty much outplayed Hbox this whole set. It feels like he's kind of had him figured out this set. Um, the first match, he just killed himself early and then killed himself at the end. And I think that's the only reason he really dropped that match. But clearly outplays him game two. What up, Scoopy Main? I'm only streaming for another half hour or so, guys. Um, don't have too much free time today. Just wanted to do a quick analysis of this match because... Leffen is really good at Fox vs. Puff. He plays this match uh, really well, so it's good to look at. This used to be one of my weakest matchups. I did uh, improve at it a lot. 
I have a match versus HBox that's on YouTube, I think, from FC 2012 Legacy. Um, where you can see that just my overall play versus Puff is better. Left him with the great hit confirm into up smash there. Let me actually talk about the match a little bit. Levin still does a great job of keep away here. Uh, <clears throat> HBox lands some hits, just mostly off trades and random hits that don't really lead into anything. Random dash attack. So HBox is doing a good job landing straight hits, but he's not doing a good job putting Levin in a position to kill him. So Levin's doing a great job staying toward the center of the stage with that keep away game. Throwing out lasers. Great hit confirm on the jab to up smash. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that's the reason he's running around putting out the jab. It's a quick move that he can hit confirm into up smash. If you guys don't know what hit confirm means, it just means once you see a hit connect, you get to follow up with something bigger. So that's uh, a term they use a lot in Street Fighter and other uh, traditional fighting games where let's say you jump in on someone, you see that you're jumping connects, now you have a free combo, you can do whatever you want. That's a hit confirm sort of. or on someone's wake up, you walk up and start doing low moves and you see that they're not blocking low, then you go into an uppercut. But if you normally just do that uppercut, obviously it's unsafe. So that's the whole point of hit confirm, uh, being able to lead into an unsafe move off of a safe one. And that's what Levin continuously does with uh, the jab against Jigglypuff. It's really good against floaties in general. I love jab up smash, super good. Another thing to note about jab up smash, if you're a newer player, um, there's actually a difference between running up smash where you just run and then press up and A together, and like you have to charge it for at least a moment if you do that, versus if you jump cancel an up smash, meaning you run and you start the jump input, just like a jump cancel grab, but you put, put an up smash there instead, you don't charge it at all, you get the fastest possible up smash. So that's always what you want to do when you do a jab up smash. There, Leffen again fishing with the jab, trying to get a hit confirm. And that time he gets an up throw up air at a pretty high percent. Doesn't look like HBox was able to DI that. It's the difference between Fox and Falco a lot. Um. One of the biggest is that Fox's shine sends people down and away, whereas Fox's Falco's shine just pops them up right in front of them. So Falco can combo a lot better with shine, whereas Fox uses it kind of a kill move or a get off me move. But there's a ton of other differences. Their laser is another big one. Fox's doesn't stun, Falco's does. Um, Levin has not been hit for like a long time here, I feel like. I haven't really been talking about the match, but Leffen's keep away is just impeccable here. HBox already looks defeated, both body language and uh, his gameplay. Leffen just really has him figured out, it looks like. Doesn't get that up throw up air. Great job with laser to nair, just getting whatever damage you can. I mean, as Fox against a puff, your main goal is keep away. Damage is secondary, and then you can throw out kill moves when you get them close. HBox finally lands a, a combo that puts him in somewhat of a kill position, but was that a jab that he hit confirmed? Yeah, see, that's actually really good because the up smash might not have hit, or it might have sent him outward because of the angle of it. So he recognizes that and puts an up air there, which would definitely kill. React to a jab and dodge the up air. Um, the hit stun might be too long before you're able to up air, I'm pretty sure. I'm not I don't think HBox could have up aired there. So HBox does get an edge guard and you know this situation it's hard to feel safe as Fox against Puff. You know that any stray hit could lead to a rest or something like that, or an edge guard that suddenly it's an even matchup, so I'm sure Leffen does get a little bit impatient, you see, not playing quite the same level of keep away. And HBox is capitalizing on Leffen's uh, impatience here. Leffen decides to finally get back to keep away, which is obviously a good decision.
and you're gonna see Leffen now that Jigglypuff's at 81, Leffen's gonna start fishing for those kill moves again. Either for a grab to up air or just putting out jabs. That time he just puts out a ledge dash up smash. The thing about ledge dash is, I talked about this briefly the other night. Um, when you grab the edge, you get invincibility. So if you do a wave dash off the ledge as quickly as possible, you're still going to retain that invincibility for a little bit. Um, so perfect ledge dashes into up smash. That's just an invincible up smash off the edge. It's a really good technique. Leffen tried it there, but Acebox was just out of range. So it wasn't really good there. But in general, super good. Leffen. Again, fishing with the up smash, you know, I, I would be super scared. He does get the up smash there at, off a of dash dance. I would be super scared as a Fox player here, though, against HFox, the arguably, well, definitely the best Puff main. And, you know, as a Fox player, he's putting out... He's still playing really good keep away. He puts out that relatively unsafe dash attack. That was ill-advised, but he's keeping up the keep away. And then he just recognizes that he has a moment where... HFox puts out a bear that hits him, but it doesn't do much. Or was it? No, it was a forward air that hits him, but it doesn't do much. And just catches HFox landing. Levin did a really good job this set, obviously. The keep away was impeccable. And, uh... Yeah, that's, I mean, that's just how you want to play Jigglypuff. He does a really good job of it. If you guys... Any Fox players that want to know how to fight Jigglypuff, I would definitely recommend that specific set to look at. Just really good job of keep away. Really good job of uh, knowing when to fish for jabs into up smash and stuff like that. <clears throat> Thank you.